Man, this is way past simping. So uh, DJ Academics and his girlfriend, or should I say ex-girlfriend, Shy Glizzy, back at it again. Uh, I've told y'all before that this girl is going to be the downfall of DJ Academics, and uh, he's playing right into that mold. But um, she's been exposing him um, for the last couple of days about him begging her to come back to him, about him begging her to uh, to be with him, um, exposing a boxing uh, sparring match with him and somebody in his uh, in his um, podcast studio. Uh, this this young lady has been doing everything she can to possibly hurt this dude uh, every chance she get, and he keeps going back to her. Uh, this is way past simping. This is this is on. Uh, a different level of simping, even if if you could still consider it simping. Right now, I just think that he's a hurt kid that can't control his emotion. Uh, the young lady don't want to be with him anymore, and she's going to do whatever she wants to push him off, and he keeps crying to come back. She called him a lame with money. Uh, you know, having money can't get you the girl. Uh, well, maybe it'll get you the girl, but it can't make you keep her. So DJ Academics hasn't understand that yet. Uh, let's listen to uh, this conversation that he's been sending to uh, his ex. I'm literally sitting here hurting and wondering why you won't come to me. I'm literally sitting here hurting and wondering why you won't come to me. You know I've been like, begging you to come. You know I've been literally just like upset, hurt, damaged over you and like... You just ignore all that, and you're like, "Oh no, the, yeah, the reason why I don't do that is because you gotta miss it. That's gaslight. So, like, you don't want to talk to me when I called you yesterday, and I called you 50 million times, and you finally answered because, like, you're the whoever guy you're with the phone keep blowing up. You know what? You look at me and say, "Nigga, stop talking to me. I'm going on." A day. You know when I called you like nights ago when you were at some nigga's apartment, and nigga, I watched your. You know, I was even thinking, I'm like, bro, if any time I ever was doing bad and you called me, nigga, I ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you just to be like, baby, come on, you know I love you. I'm like, like, I'm trying, nigga, you stayed there till 7 p.m. It just told me, it was like, bro, you have this woman, she doesn't do about you. You got to get over this because she's going on with her life. She wouldn't do these things to you. You're calling her. She doesn't even care to explain. She doesn't even care to whatever. My nigga, you were talking to her. This is what's like hurt, and hurt me the most. You've had zero emotion. There's nothing. There's nothing that even says, baby, you know I love you. You know, like, I, was, I still want to spend my life with you, but like... Now, as a man, after expressing your soul after uh sending all this heartfelt uh information out to somebody and then they just throw it back in your face if they don't care why would i keep doing it academics is uh a sick puppy uh, that's what i would call him he doesn't understand that this girl doesn't want you she wanted the money she wanted some of the fame she got that from you and she's moved on with somebody that she can you know can't do that type of stuff with because clearly she she can't answer the phone when you're calling her when she's around these dudes. She can't do certain things when she's around these dudes, but she do that to you. So clearly, uh, she's with somebody that's not you, that's not like you. Somebody that's going to take charge, a real man for a say. Uh, academics has lost it, man. I don't know what's going on with this dude. Uh, usually will come here and make some jokes, but this ain't even jokes. It's sad. When I see a man uh, do this, <laughs> it's just... It, it's beyond me. I can't even I can't even front with you. I'm lost for words of how embarrassing this is for a dude that calls himself the prize is being treated like he's the trash can. I don't get it. Uh, but this is what DJ Academic seems to like. He seems to like somebody taking advantage of him, using for him, using him for what he has and uh, laughing at him in the end. And he seems to enjoy that very much. I don't know what's going on with dude, man. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. DJ Simpademics, DJ Simparu, DJ Simp, Stee. Yeah, and I'm going to drop these um, text messages in the uh, audio section too also, man. I'm out.